I am Emma Chain and today I will be sharing my experience participating in the Virtual Robot Cup Singapore Open. First of all, here's a brief introduction of myself. I am from Singapore and I have been taking part in competitive robotics for the past two years. Some notable competitions that I have participated in are the National Robotics Competition last year, the International Cold Space Online Challenge and the Virtual Robot Cup Asia Pacific Cold Space Challenge this year. Next is a summary of the preliminary challenge. I'll be starting off with the challenge task. The category that I am participating in is Cold Space Grand Prix U19. The problem that I investigated is the inefficient movement of the robot, and I used the methods of conditional line tracking and the maximization of speed to solve this issue. As a result of implementing these strategies, the robot was able to move more smoothly and efficiently, and I was also able to achieve a better timing. All in all, I reached the conclusion that all problems can be solved with the incorporation of various strategies, which ultimately allows me to achieve the best possible result. Moving on is my analysis of the challenge. The challenge mission was to pass all the pit stations and reach the final line as quickly as possible. The challenge task can be broken down into two mini tasks, which are line tracking and stopping at the pit stations for two and a half seconds with the LED flashing. The overall mission will be solved if the mission tasks are completed. Next up are the AI algorithms and resources that I use in this competition. The AI algorithm that I use is conditional line tracking. One tool that aided me along the way is the graphical user interface, which was already provided in the CodeSpace software and was very efficient and simple to use. Another is app.diagrams.net, which is a fast free flowchart maker as it saves flowcharts directly to one's Google Drive. Here's the implementation of the conditional line tracking algorithm. It solves the problem of the robot moving inefficiently. It uses switch case statements while following a logic as shown in the flowchart to ensure that everything runs smoothly. Now, on to my debugging process. The robot was not performing as planned and the issue was that it was tilting to the side at certain junctions. I realized that this problem existed as the robot was unstable due to the high speed it was traveling at. Therefore, I decreased the speed of the robot and also hard-coded turns at the color markers to fix the issue. Here's the conclusion after all the various strategies were implemented. The conditional line tracking strategy resulted in the robot being able to move much more smoothly and efficiently. As such, I also achieved a better timing with my average result decreasing from 2 minutes and 10 seconds to 1 minute and 55 seconds. Despite this improvement, there are still many areas left for me to work on. If I were asked to solve the same challenge again, I would use a PID controller for more precise movement and incorporate an effective path planning method such as Dirich Strauss algorithm to find the shortest path for optimal result. Next is my code space learning experience. One learning point that I have gained from using the code space robot is that it is important to explore various sensors and understand their functions so that I can make good use of them. I have also learned that it is essential to print out the values returned as this allows me to check if a specific function is running as it should be. Moving on on the learning points that I have gained from the overall code space challenge. I have realized how crucial it is to create a timeline as this ensures that my plans are organized and I am clear of how I should proceed. I have also gained a better understanding of the various sensors and their functions and I am able to better incorporate them into my strategies. Finally, some points that I would like to share with my fellow CoSpace participants are that it is good to explore various tools and strategies to maximize the efficiency of the robot. It is also good to collaborate with other teams to devise innovative strategies together as this helps everyone learn from one another and ultimately optimizes the result. Most importantly, one should enjoy the process rather than fixate on the result. Last but not least, here's a video of the preliminary game challenge.
Thank you for your kind attention.